Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to print Codex 3. For those of you who just stumbled upon this video and don't know what a codex is, functionally it's a little micro expansion, a print and play for Twilight Imperium. And um, I like to get them professionally printed so that, you know, I've got nice quality components to play with. And so I go to makeplayingcards.com and, you know, get all the files printed real, up real nice. Um, this has been a very requested video, so I apologize for how long it's taken me to get it out, but it has taken me a long time to figure out how the heck to print these to a high enough quality for me to be satisfied. So that's been what's been going on. Also, I'm just super busy with life. I mean, if you look around, you can see this is different than what usually happens. Not only is it darker because it is so late right now, because life is wild, but also, um, I got married and so my board game room has been condensed down into this awesome shelf and desk and all that stuff and it's good. So, uh, where were we? Oh yes, let's go ahead and talk about how to print Codex 3. And let's really, let's just hope and pray that the audio is not skipping because I have had to make this video four times and this is the fifth and please, please don't let the audio be skipping. Okay. So, we're on MakePlayingCards.com. There will be links in the description for everything, and I will try to mention when you need them. All right, MakePlayingCards.com. We're gonna go to Playing Cards. We're gonna hit Start Your Design. From here, Custom Blank Cards. Go ahead and start that. And then we're gonna do US Mini Size Game Cards. I'm going to get this out of the way right now, all right? We are not, in this video, going to talk about how to print the reference cards the drafting cards, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're a different size, and so it would be a completely different project, and it would cost an exorbitant amount for what is essentially four new cards that aren't used in gameplay. I'm not gonna print them. Um, I don't think they're really worth it, because with shipping cost and the cost of the second project, it's probably gonna end up being like 15 to $20 just for four cards, so, I don't, I don't recommend, recommend it. Um, maybe if you've got like a group, you can go in together on it. And in that case, um, the steps to how to print cards this size are listed, or, or rather, I've done a video where we printed cards like this um, in Codex 2. So you can check that out. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But I, it's not worth it to me. And it's the exact same process. It's just these files which are, again, down in the shared drive in the description. So, you're gonna be fine. All right, so let's go back to printing the actual gameplay cards for Codex 3. First things first, we're gonna change this to M31 Linen. That's roughly the same quality of cardstock that TI um, proper is printed on. TI's is slightly thicker, um, but it is a linen finish. You won't really notice the thickness, um, especially if you sleeve your cards like I do, um, but if it's gonna really bother you to have slightly different sizes or slightly different thicknesses, this isn't this isn't gonna work for you. Um, I don't know of a way to print cards exactly the way that TI has them. I've yet to find anything. Um, oh, sorry. You can print, um, there are places you can buy these cards. Um, I believe Games Enter from like Fantasy Flight's um, unofficial store. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, they have them printed up for you, and I've heard that they're good quality, so maybe those match better, but um, I don't I don't see any... This doesn't impact gameplay, the differences, and um, I've never had any problems. Plus, if you sleeve your cards, completely indistinguishable. Alright, cool. We're going to go ahead and, for size of deck, do 36 cards. We're going to do full color, NPC game card finish, and shrink wrap. And then we're going to hit start your design. Now there is only 33 cards in the deck, so this is the page where we're gonna change that. I, when setting this up, forgot to do that, so I'm excited for that. But make sure you do 33. Shrink wrap still, and then we're gonna do different images. So here we go. We are going to go ahead and upload from that shared drive file, the link down in the description. Um, and once you've got those images uploaded, they're gonna look like this. Go ahead and upload the fronts first. Obviously, we're on the front of the cards. 
You're going to go ahead and after you've got all the images, go ahead and click and drag them into place. So you'll start out with 33 empty spaces and you're going to end with 33 filled spaces. Ignore these because as I said, I'm incompetent and forgot to change the number of cards. All right, so let's go through these really quick. We've got six frontier tokens. We've got three secret objectives. We have a bunch of Nalu cards, one extra card, a bunch of Yin cards, and then a bunch of Council Clary's cards because there is a new faction in town. I'll go ahead and scroll through this one more time so you can pause to reference as you're following along with this video. So there's the first 12. Next 12. There you go. All right, so once you've got that, I'm going to hit next step. Ignore that, you won't get it. I got it because I forgot to change the number of cards. Ignore this step as well. We're not adding text to these cards. So we'll just go ahead and hit next step again. Here we go. We're now on the backs. So go ahead and upload the back files. We're gonna have a bunch of them. And then in the easy, so I've, I've in the drive, I made a little folder. This is easy upload. Go ahead and when you're doing this, use those files because it's going to be so much easier because I've got them all labeled in exactly the order you need to put them in. And for instance, this file is um, back one through six. So you put it on back one through six, right? Right? I think it's super convenient. You, it's, it's great. I think it's great. So go ahead and just put the cards onto the slots that the file name states. It's the same thing for the fronts. Again, using the easy upload folder. We've got the other guys, all that Nalu stuff. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention. Um, I do two copies of each commander reference card for a Mahawked player and then for the Alliance promissory note. So it goes with the Alliance. Um, you can just do one if you don't play with Mahawked very often or if you don't care about the Alliance or if you just don't want to print as many cards. It doesn't impact price that much. So I just do two because I play with Mahawked a lot. They're probably my favorite faction. If not, they're in my top three for sure. Rolling through nice and slow so you can follow along. And again, you can decrease the number of reference cards if you would like. Another note is the back of the Kaleri's technology. Just use the same file for both because they're both yellow techs. Let's see, what else? I think that's everything. And again, this won't be there when you do it. It's just, I'm incompetent. All right, once it looks like that, go ahead and scroll all the way back up and hit next step. Again, that pop-up won't happen for you. I just don't know how to do anything right. All right, then we're gonna just go ahead and skip adding text to the back and we get to our preview. All right, just spot check it. Make sure that every card is aligned properly, that you didn't rotate any of the files. As downloaded, they should be totally fine, but just make sure that they look like this. Uh, all pictures should be catty corner to one another on the leader cards. Um, the tech icons in the corner should be catty corner, like that. So it should look like this. Once you've verified that everything looks good, you're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down Make sure to check the please confirm box and hit add to cart. Do -do -do. All right, I'll go ahead and just delete this because you know, do copies. And here we go. We've got a $14 purchase um, with shipping. I think shipping from this company, if I remember right, is a bit steep. I want to say it's like $10. So you're probably looking at about $25 for the 33 cards. Um, which, you know, it's a it's an expansion to the game, so I think it's worth it, but it's up to you. Um, so we've got that. That's all of the gameplay cards. Again, if you want the drafting cards, then I recommend following the instructions in Codex 2, but just know it's going to be kind of steep. Uh, after that, you'll just proceed to checkout and be done. So that is all the cards, but 
What about this? What about these bad boys? Well, I have some good news and I've got some bad news. I hope these are showing up on the camera because they're really excellent. I am not mincing words when I tell you I did it exact. Like this is this is fantasy flight level quality right here. All right, it is it is solid. I could not. Like you can hold the two different faction sheets in your hand. One of them the Calaris and the other one like ghosts or something. And if you're blindfolded, you cannot tell the difference. It's amazing. And the quality. Yeah. Whatever, I'll stop, I'll stop tooting my own horn. I just, I'm very proud of how well these turned out. But I've got good news and bad news about them. The good news is that they're perfect and amazing. I just went over that. The bad news is I've got 20 of them. And there's a reason I've got 20 of them. It's because the, the website where I printed them, uprinting.com, I will put this link down in the description for a custom print. Um, so the minimum amount that you can order is 25. So I've given a couple away and I've got one for myself and everything. But um, yeah, you can order a minimum of 25. So that's that's wonderful. Love that fact. Anyways, I'm sorry. The height is, no wait, sorry, this is width. The width is 11 inches. The height is 7.5 inches. It is printed on 16 point cardstock mat, no folding, front and back, no perforation, no rounded corners, no hole drilling, and no bundling. If you do a six day print, um, six business day printing time, the printing cost is $40. And that is the really bad news. So um, you will end up getting 25 faction sheets for after shipping, which is an additional $20, $60. It's going to be extremely expensive. It's the most expensive piece of paper you'll ever find, but it's literally perfect. Obviously that's too much money to spend. I wouldn't have spent that much money, but luckily I can offload these on you guys. So here's what I'm gonna say, all right? I do have the files if you want to print these and maybe the discord can work on, you know, putting together some print runs and I don't know, we'll, we'll figure something out, right? Uh, just in case you're curious, you upload the folders and then you're going to go ahead and just do print ASAP, um, continue, and then they'll have you approve the print. So you'll get an email that says, hey, does everything look good? You can download um, everything. And if, oh, wait, no, that's only if you do the PDF proof. Otherwise, if you just print ASAP, it'll just automatically print it. Um, you can trust me. I I did the files. I printed them. They're perfect. All right. But if you want the PDF proof, go ahead. You can do that, and it's fine. Okay. So let's talk. Okay. Because this is this is obviously like a really high quality way to do it, but it's too expensive. So what are your alternatives? You can obviously print them just on regular cardstock glue them together, it'll look relatively okay. Again, the files are all down in the description so you can mess around. Um, I couldn't find anywhere that printed this size of paper except for these people. Well, this size and this weight of paper, it's quite rare. Um, so good luck. I couldn't find it, but maybe you'll have better luck than I will. Um, maybe you could get a group of people to get together and figure stuff out, but but here's the thing, here's the kicker. I do have 20 of these, all right? So if you go ahead and email me at bnrboardgames at gmail.com, I'll just, I'll, I'm not gonna put that in the description because I'll start getting spam, but um, maybe it's flashing across the screen right now or something. If you email me and you Venmo me, I, I'd say like $5 seems fair because it's gonna help cost the cover of, like cover shipping and the cost and everything. Um, Venmo will be five bucks. I'll talk to you over email and everything. Uh, it'll be the first 20 people, uh, but not much I can do about that. But I'd say five bucks is fair, and you can get a nice Calaris faction sheet. I would give them out for free, but um, I spent a lot of money on them, and... Maybe I'll do a giveaway, all right? I don't know. Actually, yeah, I'll do a giveaway. So, all right, leave a comment in the description. Not wow. 
Wow. Leave a comment on this video and be like, hey, I want a Calarius faction sheet. I will do a random drawing. One person will get them for free, but everybody else, up to 19 other people, five bucks. I think it's fair. Send me an email and we'll talk and we'll figure it out. Okay? Cool. I will not, I will not send you make playing cards though, because those are just crazy expensive. If I was to print one for each of these, that would be, no, no, just the sheet, just the faction sheet, but they're amazing. And I think they're awesome. And maybe if I just run out immediately, I'll do another print run, but I'm not making any promises. Cause again, I don't really just have 60 bucks lying around that I can just spend on this. Okay. Was that everything? I think that's everything. So you know how to make the faction sheet yourself if you want, but you spend 60 bucks for 25. So again, I think that the discords, like the TI discord and the SCPT discord, they need to just talk and figure something out and start, start getting these produced or something. I don't know. And then make playing cards. That's how you're going to do that for all of the playing cards. And that is how you print Codex 3. This whole time I've been saying a silent prayer that the audio on this video has worked and nothing has gone wrong. So let's hope and that I don't have to re-record this because it is now 1045. I will hopefully have this up by tomorrow, barring any technical difficulty. Okay. Okay. Well, that's everything. I am working on videos and getting things done and just trying to get all this going again because... I've just had a lot of life events happening. A lot of life events. My pig gave birth to a bunch of piglets. I didn't even know the pig was pregnant. I thought it was just pot belly. There's been a lot going on. Okay. Anyways. Hope you, you guys are the best. More videos incoming. Um, still really, like, I'm almost there on the Twilight Imperium versus Warhammer video. It's fully scripted, fully recorded. I just have to finish editing all of the images and music and all that stuff. It's, it's getting there. And I've got other surprises incoming. So stick around. See you on the next one. Cheers.